Hello everyone, today I am back with another layout for the 100 day project and bashing out more of my stash. I have this Echo Park birthday, happy birthday collection to use today that has been sitting in my stash for quite a while. So here I'm just going through the papers that come in the collection. It's a very nice collection but I must say I really did struggle a lot with this layout. I should have given up, I should have just gone to bed and let day four defeat me but I don't, I'm no quitter and as you'll see I made a fair few mistakes on this layout. So I'm going with this pattern paper on the background and I'm going to use some uh, dark purple cardstock as my base and then this uh, paper with all these like happy birthdays and balloons and all sorts so now I'm just going to trim my paper down and I'm just going to take a half an inch off two of the sides so that I have not use my purple as my border like so and then this paper I had a genius idea that I was going to cut it crosswise to sort of make a sort of a sort of bit of a triangle and I'm just cutting that down and that was the plan. At this point, this is where I should have just given up for the night and started again in the morning. But I chugged on through. So I'm cutting this white, sorry, yellow, pink, oh, I can't talk tonight, cardstock. And I'm just going to use my famous Martha Stewart punch to punch out the strip. And I had planned to put it underneath my triangle and realized oh, it's not going to work. So I abandoned that pretty quick. Um, and then I realized that that's just not going to work. So I'm just going to use the paper and cut it down to three inches and put one up top, or one down bottom, and one up top. And now with that said, I'm going back in with my pink cardstock and cutting another piece so I can punch it out. So I have a punch piece, a bottom and top. See, I couldn't even hold the paper tonight. I really should have just given up, but I don't know. The layout in the end turns out all right. It's probably not my best work, but it's not the worst. So I'm just going to put a strip of the punched paper up the top and down the bottom like so. And then I wanted to see if I could use the disregarded piece, um, and, but I couldn't. I had this idea that maybe I could put it behind so that it would cover that cut. And then as I put my photos on, it will hide it. But then it, it really was no point having the pink because once you put the photo down, you weren't seeing any of it anyway. Um, so these photos are obviously of my daughter. One, she's blowing out the candle, and the other, she is cutting the cake. In the end, I end up just using one of these photos. So I'm trying this yellow piece of paper, and I decide that I will use that yellow um, to map my photos. But I actually cut the paper to the size of the photo. Now, I could have just trimmed my photos down, but I didn't. I have to use my damn glue because my trusty ATG is currently out of adhesive and my order did not arrive in time for the weekend because um, it is a Friday night here. So now I'm just going to cut some more down like so and glue them on. like so and I don't know this is um, not a bad glue probably not the best that you want to be using to stick everything down but it got me out of a pickle because I don't have any other double sided tape as I don't particularly like peeling off the other side of it and we are heading away for the day so I'm not going to get to the scrapbooking store in time so glue it is so I'm just adhering all this down and I'm going to here this piece down which I struggled and ended up getting really frustrated and turning the camera off and thinking that's it 
I'm done. I just couldn't get it lined up. It was not cut straight and it just would not sit for the life of me. It's about now when I think I should have just gone to bed. So I'm trying to peel it up carefully to realign it. And I play with it and then I realize that it's not actually cut straight. So off camera, I fiddle with it, recut it, and then glue it down. So now I'm just coming back in and gluing down my top and bottom bit. After I cut off my little bit of excess. Thankfully that I realized that it is upside down, but it doesn't matter because I can just flip it around the other side. As long as I was making sure that this bottom bit was going to work and it wasn't upside down either. And I'm just trimming off the little extra bit and sticking it down. And this is where I came a bit stuck. I had real no idea what I was going to achieve now. I wanted to use both the photos, but I should have been smart and um, made them smaller. So I really wanted something, a strip to go behind my photo like so, but the cupcake wasn't working. It was too bright. I fiddle with it a bit more. I pull out some other papers that I look through. I then cut out this blue, nope, I cut out this little card that I wanted to use that says, um, it's your birthday, make a wish. And I thought that would be a good little card to use on my project. I usually don't fussy cut these cards out, but isn't I'm all about trying new things while I'm going through my stash. So I had some kind of idea that I wanted to use this card, but I couldn't fit the photos and the card together. So I play around a bit more. I cut um, three inches of this blue paper because I thought I could use it as I was looking for something to go somewhere there. I don't know why I just needed to fill that space. I spend a lot of time fiddling. I end up turning the camera off and fiddling some more. So I'm back now and I ended up picking out this pink star paper and still use the blue strip but I put a little bit hanging out of the pink stuff, a pink paper sorry, and I decided at this point one photo is going to have to do. Um, as I said, I should have made the photo smaller and it would have worked, but I didn't. So I have to deal with what I have. And I think the one photo looks fine. And I just used this uh, quote to put underneath, which I wanted to use. And now I'm just going in with the stickers. And I'm going to have my title as just birthday. Yes, I know. Not very original. But at this point, I was getting cranky because it wasn't working. And then I realized that it is not going to fit. It is too long and I have to move my word. I should learn to measure before I start sticking things down. Lucky these stickers come off pretty easy. So now I'm just sticking the rest of the word birthday down. Like so. Putting the little dot for the eye. And that's about as far as I get. I just, I play, I pull stickers off, I really just could not figure out how to embellish it. Then I remember to have these die cuts that come with the collection. So I spend another few minutes fiddling, thinking what I should do. This layout's not my favourite, but it's definitely not one that I don't like. I just not not really happy how it turned out but you know it's not the end of the world not everything has to be a masterpiece um so i'm just going through fiddling with more embellishments i have this word celebrate and i was going to use this uh spotted blue one as my journaling but i wasn't too sure where to put it so i thought well maybe a cake but no i already had a card on one side and i didn't think it looked good having cards on both sides 
so I'm still fiddling and then um, off camera I fiddle some more and I come up with the word celebrate which I'm just gluing down now then I make a little tag that says let's eat all of the yummy cake um, I have some we are memory keepers twine that I'm just going to cut out to make a little thread for my tag which I don't usually do but at this point I was getting a bit desperate to find things to embellish it to make it look half decent so I thought well it was sitting on my desk I may as well pull it out and use it um, the yellow sticker well the yellow uh, die cut sorry says hip hip hooray and then I have this little circle with little flowers on it not too sure what flowers have got to do with birthdays but it worked so I'm just going back to the sticker sheet and looking for some stickers and I put a little party hat above the word it's yours I tried these candles and then yeah they probably don't work there but yeah it's down now I'm going to use some more of the purple twine to make a banner so I can stick my banner die cuts down um, I'm using a Tim Holtz mini attacher to attach it figure out where I want to go and then my stapler is out of staples so then I have to go spend a few minutes finding my stapler and then I'm back with gluing this banner down and it took a bit of playing and fiddling I didn't want it in a straight line but I didn't want it um, too messy I sort of wanted that in between sort of dippy look I guess but it just wasn't working the string was either too tight or the twine was either too tight or too loose um, the banner wasn't sticking down to the twine too well it was just a layout that just <laughs> was not my cup of tea it just did not work for me tonight um, but I get there eventually I'm just cutting off the extra string gluing that bit down and going back in trying to figure out where I need to put my journaling card I don't know why but I'm all about journaling on layouts lately it's not usually a thing I do but I just want to do it lately so I just found this present sticker which I added down the bottom and I decided right I'm just going to stick my journaling there and it just says um, Rochelle you have hit double digits a big 10 years old my journaling never really says much but it always adds just a little bit of something to the layout so I'm just going to stick that down and this pretty much sums up my layout I'm just adding the date there um, and then I'm just going back in looking for some more stickers I add these little flower stickers on my journaling card and then I needed something to go under the word birthday so I find this hip hip hooray I really wanted to put the word girl there like birthday girl but I couldn't find a sticker to work for it and I really didn't want to f muck around cutting the word out with my cameo so I just added another uh, birthday sticker present sticker and that's it guys thanks for watching